Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thanks for watching today. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can find the slope of a line by using two points on a line. So I went ahead and drew a couple lines here, and then I listed a few points that fall on each of these lines. We'll be using the points that fall on these lines to determine their slopes. So this right here is the equation of a slope. M is usually what we refer to as the slope, and it's simply equal to the change in the y components of two points divided by the change in the x components of two points. So the first thing we need to do is we need to label two points. So one of our two points we're going to label x1, y1, and the second of our two points we're going to label x2, y2. So x1, y1 we can choose to be any of the points that fall on our line. So let's just go ahead and choose the first one I have listed here, negative 4, negative 1. And for x2, y2, we can also choose any other point on the line. So let's just choose the point 2, 2. So now that we've labeled our two points, we go ahead and plug it in to our equation for a slope. So y2 minus y1 y2 is simply the right-hand side of this point, or simply 2. And y1 is the right-hand side of this point, or negative 1. And then we divide by x2 minus x1. x2 is the left-hand side of this point, or 2. And we subtract the left-hand side of this point, or x1, which is a negative 4. So a positive number subtract a negative number is really the same thing as adding two positive numbers together. So we can rewrite this as 2 plus 1. And the denominator we can write as 2 plus 4. So 2 plus 1 gives us 3. And 2 plus 4 gives us 6. So 3 is the same thing as 1 times 3, and 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. 3 divided by 3 cancels, giving us a slope of 1 half. So by using these two points, we've determined that the slope of this first line is 1 half. So let's test to make sure that it doesn't matter which points we choose. So this time, let's let our x1, y1 be the point 2, 2. And then let's letter x2, y2 be the point 6, 4. So the only condition is that they're points that both fall on the line. So we're going to go ahead again and do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So this time y2 is here which re refers to the right hand side or the 4 and we subtract our y1 or the right hand side of this point which is the 2 and then we divide by x2 minus x1 so x2 is the left hand side of this point or the 6 and we're subtracting the x1, the left-hand side of this point, or 2. So 4 minus 2 simply gives us 2, and 6 minus 2 gives us a 4, and 2 is equal to 1 times 2, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, this 2 will cancel with that 2, giving us the same result of 1 half being the slope of this line. So any two points you choose on the line, label them x1, y1, x2, y2 to your liking, plug them into this equation, and you will end up with the same slope no matter which two points on the line you choose. So let's determine the slope of the lower line here. So let's just go ahead and say that x1, y1 is negative 3, 2. So then, of course, we'll choose our x2, y2 to 
to be the point 0, 1. So the only condition really is that these be two points that fall on this line. So once again we want to do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. y2 is the right hand side of this point, or 1, and then we subtract the y1 which is the right hand side of this point, or 2, and then x2 minus x1 is simply the left hand side of this point, 0, minus the x1, and the x1 is the left hand side of that point, so this would be minus a negative 3. So 1 minus 2 gives us negative 1, and 0 take away a negative number is the same thing as adding that as a positive number, so 0 plus 3. So now we have negative 1 divided by 0 plus 3, which is simply negative 1 divided by 3. And bringing the negative out front doesn't change anything, so we can write this in a nicer form as negative 1 third. So notice that we have a negative slope in this case. Anytime you have a negative slope, that reflects a line that decreases as it goes to the right. And anytime you have a positive slope, it's a line that increases as it goes to the right. So anyway, thank you for watching this video tutorial. Please stay tuned for more video tutorials. Thank you for watching, and if there's anything you want to know specifically about this tutorial, tutorial or any of my other tutorials, please let me know, and I appreciate you watching, and have a great day.